All right, everybody, happy new year, and welcome back to part eight of our Fire Emblem Path of Radiance playthrough. Last time, we had to, it was like a survival map, because we got immediately surrounded by Dane troops and one of the forts of Gallia, and we just had to keep on surviving without Shannon Gaitry or Grell, and we eventually did, and Gallian help arrived. Today, we're going to be marching over to the Gallian Palace and see what's going on, so let's, let's get started. Chapter 9. I think it's just called Galia, ain't it? Yep. Okay, I think there's a new mechanic that's going to be introduced here. Which, oddly, wasn't brought back for Radiant Dawn. Um, which I'm surprised. Yeah, so right here it just gives you like a basic summary of what of what you did last uh, chapter. It tells you how much money you got, how much money you spent, your current money, your the total amount of XP that you gotten from the, from the from battle, bon any bonus XP that may have gotten, which we didn't get any last time, the MVP and any new allies you recruited, and anybody who else died, who died, which is pretty useful, but didn't make a comeback in Radiant Dawn, which I find odd. All right, and now from here we just start, go straight into the prep screen. So we got a couple of stuff to go over, so let's do that. In case uh, any of y'all may have missed Radiant Dawn's playthrough, I'm going to quickly go over how the conversations work if you're confused. Basically, one stars are just like story conversations. They just expand the lore. Same thing with two stars. Three stars and four stars could either give you items or, or a new ally. And that's about all you need to really know.
Nice. Very good. Cool. Alright, what do we got here? Oh yeah. That's the end of that. Let's see, we got any supports? Okay, we do a Soren. I definitely want to do that. I think I want to get uh, an A rank support with Soren, to be honest. Pretty cool. And we do have titanium rays, but I think I'm gonna hold off on that just for a little bit. Because I'm not really sure if I want to do that just yet. Alright, so from here, who do we want to give it some XP to? I'm not sure I want to use uh, Liana for this playthrough. I used her before. I feel like I've used her every time I play this game. I feel like I want to give Soren and uh, maybe Oscar some more time to shine. Where's me at? Oh, here she is. Oh, we don't even have any. Never mind. I forgot about that. Oh, we should still be good on stuff. Let's go, because we're ready.
Looks like they're here too. Alright, here's the prep screen. Let's uh, view the map real quick. Because we got a decent amount of guys. Okay, we got steel swords right off the bat. I ain't holding out. Steel lances, thunder. Okay. Normally this dude has fire. But on hard mode he has thunder. Steel lance, steel bow. Okay, they got all the steel stuff right here. Fire, wind, steel, uh, night killer. Okay, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Thunder. Steel. Alright. Yeah, these guys are all gonna have steel axes. Thunder. Oh, a venom. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this dude. This is gonna have a venom axe, so be, be careful with that. Poison. Pole axe. Gonna watch out with that with Oscar. Iron Sword, Thunder, we were doing with that guy, Thunder, Iron Sword. Okay, so if you're gonna try to visit these houses, try to be quick about it because pirates start showing up around here later on. And... I am not gonna deploy Liana because I don't really intend to use her. I think we're ready now. Alright, so we got two new units. We got Mist. Let me see if she has her stat. Yeah, okay. We got Mist and Rolf. Uh, where's Rolf at? Here he is. So let's talk about Mist real quick. So Mist, uh, at this point in the game, starts off level 1 Cleric. Basically kind of like how Wrist was back in the beginning. 
she's actually a pretty good healer, and in my opinion, she's the better healer than Riss in the long term, because uh, even though we gave Riss some XP, you know, like from all the healing he was doing, he promotes to um, a bishop, which can use light magic, but light magic in this game isn't really that powerful anyway, and Mist, when she promotes, let's just say she gets a, a mounted class, and that is very useful for a healer, just having the, that, all that mobility. And she can use swords later on to defend herself, which I know that sounds kind of funny, but her being, she has less strength than Riss. I mean, yeah, she has less strength than Riss because Riss used magic, you know, but she still deals more damage with swords than Riss does with magic on the long, in the long term. So it's just, uh, I think Miss is just a way better option. Also, she's just very useful to have around later on in a certain chapter, which I'm not going to spoil. And you're going to really appreciate that. So that's what I'm going to be, that's what I'm going to be using from now on, to be honest. And I can't really say the same for Rolf here. So he starts off level one as an archer, which you don't want because uh, for Mist you can kind of forgive because she's a healer, you know. Healers are pretty good no matter what. They just heal as long as they got good magic. They're pretty good because you're not gonna be fighting, you know. However, Rolf is gonna be fighting, and uh, with those stats at this point in the game, that's not really good. Now. I have seen people try to defend Rolf, saying that, well, I mean, he's he's actually pretty good, but you don't want to use him like that. You, you just want to use him as a substitute unit in case uh, one of your other guys dies. Which, yeah, I, I can see that happening. He does come with the Rolf's bow, with, which only he can use. Basically makes it easier for him to wield it, you know, like the weight. That's all he does. Basically means he can't get doubled easily. He doesn't come with any skills or anything, which... Would have been better if he came with that one uh, skill that Astrid comes with that doubles the amount of XP he gets. Because that would have been really useful for him, in my opinion, in redeeming. But he doesn't. I'm not going to be using Rolf, to be honest. He's too much of a burden to use. And should I talk about these two guys? Yeah, I guess I'll talk about them. So, Leth and Mordecai aren't technically in our team yet, but they will be. And their stats are going to be the same anyway, so I guess now's the time. So, Les starts off level 3, she's a cat. And this game, she just, her class is labeled as Beast Tribe. But she's basically a cat. And, you all remember in uh, Radiant Dawn, I said cats were pro not that good in that game because it got nerfed. Well, this is the game where they, they weren't nerfed at all. So, because, you know, they got introduced in this game. So, the, she, the cat class is actually pretty busted. It's probably the best class in the game because as soon as you start the battle... They'll trans she transforms into her beast form, which is really, really good. As you can see right there. If you look at the transformation gauge, really good. And let me see. Yeah, there's really no weaknesses other than fire. All beast tribe units, both Mordecai and Leth, are weak to fire, so keep that in mind. But really, uh, other than that, she has no weaknesses. Her That's the best class that she can get. Mordecai is... he's pretty good. He's alright. He, since he's not a cat, he's not going to transform immediately. Instead, he has to wait a little bit. But uh, once he transforms, he actually... He's a powerhouse, really. He doesn't double easily, but he just, like, has a lot of defense and strength. Like, he's going to... He's likely to one-shot most things, really. And that's what makes him pretty good. Other than that, pretty solid units. All right, so... I'm trying to think on how I'm going to move over here. Dude, well, what I could probably do is... I wonder if I can send a... Uh, through this yeah so I, I think what I want to do is send like uh, Mia here kind of send Ike forward make sure you don't have the recoil sword equipped okay we're good there's kind of be a lot of uh, lance users so this is actually a pretty good map for Boyd Shove strike, shove tactics here. Uh, we could bring Oscar here as well. I'm gonna bring Titina to the north to help out with Mia, just cause it's safer to do so. And for the healing, I'm gonna bring Mist. And for the top healing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take Riss over there. All right. I guess I could send Rolf over here just for a little bit. And as you can see, she transforms immediately. Really good. 
Okay, just be careful with that fire magic, though. Yeah, advantage is pretty useful for me. Yeah. Okay, I should have probably had them, like, not move. I forgot you can command them. Because usually what I like to do is just, like, not let them steal the XP. Because, you know, that's pretty useful. Alright. Yeah, so she's going to tell us. Alright, so, what I'm actually going to do right off the bat is, uh, with the direct order, I'm going to tell them to target this area. Actually, no, what I'm going to tell them to do is try to, like, go here. Because I don't want them, uh, taking out all these guys. These guys are useful. I'm going to try to have I take out this guy, though, because this guy could be a threat pretty soon. There you go. Another level up. He's already level 18. That's pretty amazing. 17 defense. Wow. 10 resistance is pretty good too. He didn't get much of that though, but, you know, still pretty useful. Alright, well, gotta be careful here because I remember one of these guys had like a night killer or something. Was it the boss? Yeah, it was the, the, the boss. Alright. Let's see if Oscar can get, uh, get rid of this guy at least. Yep. Well, he's not gonna get rid of him, get rid of him, but he can do damage at least. Lance broke. Javelin equipped, alright. I'm okay with that. Hopefully, Mist doesn't get attacked easily here. Rolf should be pretty useful here a little bit. Yeah, he does something, at least. As surprising as that may sound. Okay, nice dodging. I might just use Titania to get rid of this guy. I guess we kind of need to get there kind of quick, you know? Pirates are going to show up and I kind of want those items. Just cause, uh, I think that's about it. Okay. Okay, I actually should not have done that. I may have screwed over Mordecai here. As long as he keeps dodging, he should be good. I forgot Mordecai was untransformed. Okay, Titania. Okay, keep dodging that. Dang, Mordecai. Normally he gets hit a lot by these guys. Uh, yeah, kind of like that. He doesn't take that much damage, though. That's what makes him impressive. Okay. Uh... Trying to think on who I am going to get rid of here. Yeah, we should be good if I get rid of this guy. Hmm. 
heal up uh, Oscar a little bit. There we go. He's gone. I wonder if I can get rid of this guy with Oscar. I mean, I kind of can, but I'm not even sure if I want to do that because of how much damage you can do. Yeah, I don't know about that. Um... Sure, we'll get the kill us off. Why not? Get rid of this guy. Alright. Yes, he transformed already. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. Missed. Man, that dude has extreme range. <coughs> Hopefully, oh my god. Oh, miracle. Thank you. Is she still screwed though? Hopefully she's not. Oh, he actually did no damage there. Even I'm surprised. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to make it to that village in time. Alright. From here, I am now going to direct to Rome, as you please. Hopefully Soren can get rid of this guy. If only he had propped at it, he probably could have, honestly. Okay. This dude's gone. Okay, this guy's gone too. I think I can get rid of this guy. Yeah. Jeez. This guy hits pretty hard. Alright. Gonna need to heal Mist up though. Glad a miracle propped the way it did. She would have been dead right there. All right. Yeah, I don't think she's going to be able to kill that dude. Try this instead. Alright, so here's Mercia. So if you didn't talk to her in the chapter 2, I think? Can't remember, yeah, I think it was chapter 2. If you didn't talk to her, she's not going to appear here. She's going to try to go over to Ike, by the way. So she'll automatically recruit herself. Which we want. Alright, so... Nice work. Alright, he got he went for that guy instead. I guess I'm okay with that. Uh, 
I can make it to that house, unfortunately. That's alright, I can still kill them. Oh, here comes this boss. Yeah, so he's uh, going to go over to him. One of the few side bosses in this game. Doesn't really have anything. Just like, it's just a boss. Alright. Nice job, Mia. Okay. Should go rid of this dude at least. Hold up. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, that's a pretty good level up. I feel like strength for her is a little bit better, though. Kind of need it. Uh, who needed healing? Oscar, yeah. Alright, now, there was a couple mages. Uh, yes, there was. Let me see if I can bait them out with Ike. Nah, I'm, I'm not going to be able to this turn. <clears throat> Alright. Let's see if... I can make it there. Just start healing these guys if I can. Oh. I wonder if Les gonna be okay. And she should be alright. Thunder. Alright, uh. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, he ignored her. Ah, uh, he's trying to go for that house. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah, that could be a problem. Alright, new plan. Uh. We'll just fortify up like this. And then we will Dang, I'm not even gonna make it to that other house. Man, I did this quick. I guess it's okay. I mean I there's like a goddess icon there to increase your luck. I don't remember what was in the bottom house, but I was really hoping I could get to that other one. At the very least, you know. No, Les, what are you doing? Oh, jeez. Nice dodge. Alright. This guy's gonna just kind of spam us with ranged attacks. Come on, boy. Do you got this? Uh, or not. I can help out here, though, for sure. Okay, we got more of those guys, yeah. Dang. I was hoping to get to that house, at least. Okay, we got more pirates. Let me put my Iron Lance here. I don't think I need that other one. Too heavy. Level 13. Mm, get some defense. Yes. Perfect. Uh, 
Soren can take care of this guy. And I think I can take care of this guy for Boyd, because Boyd just kind of can't do that. I'm going to heal him up while I'm at it. There we go. Okay, this should be more better. There we go. And my axe broke. It's not exactly a good outcome. Man, why's that one dude so tough? I'll get rid of this guy, though. Another crit. Uh, just stay where you are. Alright. What you guys got? Okay, one for this dude. Wow, this press he dodged that. Oh, he almost killed him, though. Bunch of hand axes. Uh. Oh, wow. Literally does nothing against this dude. He's got too much health. Okay. Yeah, figured that would happen. Thank you for recruiting yourself. All right, so let's see. Alright, so, let's talk about She starts off level 5, pretty decent, no magic, obviously. Decent skill, speed is pretty good because she's a Pegasus Knight, 8 defense and 6 resistance. She's an alright Pegasus Knight, I never use her though, because Pegasus Knights I just, I'm not good with, they always seem to die on me, so same thing here, I'm not going to really use her. She does come with a Javelin, which, I don't know why they gave her a Slim Lance in this, in this point of the game. They should have just given her an Iron Lance, to be honest. Kind of useless, but yeah. And that's really all I gotta say about it. Let's go to this dude with Boyd. There we go. Now they level up for him. Come on. What you got? Wow. Uh. Alright. What is this looking like? Yeah, that battle's never gonna end. I wonder what could I do to help out that battle there. Not really sure. <clears throat> oh, he got poisoned. Oh, he got rid of him though. So that's good. I think left by next turn, she should be able to transform. That's a decent level up, not gonna lie, for her, because, uh, she's already got good stats as it is. There we go. Okay.
Gotta watch out for that wind mage though. Be careful with that dude. Oh, that's all you do? For real? I was kinda hoping you did more. Alright. I'm gonna do that, but I need Miss to heal him up though. I think if I do this and then Soren can get the final hit, maybe I can get rid of him now. Yes, nice dodge. Yeah, I, I think we should be good there. Where's Soren at? There we go. Oh, 13. Nah, yeah, right. Would have preferred a little bit more magic, though. Alright. I'll get rid of this, dude. Because he could be a problem later on. There we go. Let's use a Steel Axe. Kill these dudes quicker. Alright. Come on. Okay, he untransformed. What about you? Should be able to kill this dude. Yep. You got him. Ah, uh, no, 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 Mordecai, what are you doing? Jesus, I may have screwed up here. Alright. Crap. Okay, get rid of this dude at least. Uh, come on. Gotta get rid of this, dude. Okay, that's good. Because I need to help out, uh, Mordecai. He's in trouble. Uh. Alright, what's this battle looking like here? I mean, yeah. Should work just fine. I honestly think I, I feel good about that. I feel Ouch. Thank you. He's a helper deer, interestingly enough. Okay. He does come with an arm skull, which draw, which I, I can use, and I will be using that. All right, so. Gotta get rid of this guy now. Thank you. Man, this guy is just a pain. They have, like, so much health. Okay, wait for, he went for left. I'm okay with that. Okay, how's this gonna go down? Nice job, Boyd. Let me do the math here, make sure. Okay, one, two, three. Yeah, I should be good. Ouch. 
Alright, what are you... Yeah. I don't know about that. This is gonna chill for now. He's gonna heal up a little bit. Because he's on that thing. And he's gonna go for Titania. I'm okay with that for now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, is that? Dude popped out like a javelin, I think. Didn't think he would do that. Yeah, he did. Alright. Time to heal up Boyd. Right. Alright, please set this hit. Hit, hit, hit. Yes, thank you. Nice. And we got that arm scroll. And I'm gonna just go ahead and clear. No need to keep on going. <sighs> Lucky sucks I wasn't able to get those items though. What kind of wanted them?
well, that's good that that's settled now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that episode, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.